Hello again YouTube and I'm back with another update video and in this video here I show you a solar panel that I built and it's a 54 cell solar panel and uh, the reason I built it was uh, I had some uh, frames that I had left over from a previously uh, failed project uh, where I made my own solar panel and I had two well I had two uh, two frames and I decided to as opposed to throwing them away at least give it a, another shot what you see is a solar panel with uh, tempered glass this time, uh, one eighth of an inch tempered glass. I had it mounted professionally, framed and mounted. Um, uh, so this time I wanted to at least give it a attempt to uh, attempt to do it right. But anyway, um, I'm going to test it out today. Again, I think it's over 200 watts, uh, but we'll see. This is a bright sunny day. Uh, but, but before I do that, I'm going to show you uh, something that I discovered, dis discovered in the process of building this thing that may help some folks out. Um, I'm going to show you the back of it. You'll, you'll see. Okay, YouTube, this is the back of uh, the solar panel. And as you can see, there's some like, it seems like some metal strips across the, uh, the back of it. I actually use some encapsulant this time as opposed to epoxy. So for you folks that are going to do it yourself, um, don't use epoxy uh, to encapsulate your cells. Um, I know, you know, it, 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 the temptation is to use it, but don't do it. Get, if you're going to do it, get some of that, that, ink, that special encapsulant um, like Silgard or, or there's another one um, that allows you to encapsulate cells as well. But anyway, looking at each one of these cells, I've discovered that when I try to you know, solder the connections uh, to the back of it. You can see, you know, uh, that you see right here. But sometimes, you know, at some point in time, they want it to come off. <laughs> so, you know, as opposed to re-soldering and soldering and soldering, continuously soldering, what I did was I actually got some aluminum tape, um, some 3M aluminum tape uh, that you get from Home Depot or Lowe's. And I decided to tape them, <laughs> tape them down. And this, this tape is really sticky. And so it will last. And plus, when I take them down, then I encapsulated the cell. So there are all of these are underneath um, the encapsulant. So uh, I mean, it's it's really good. And plus, with these being aluminum is conductive, and the entire back of the cell is conductive. So guess what? I just increased the conduct uh, the conductivity of the of each one of these links. So um, and for you folks, you say, well, man, that looks ugly. Of course, it looks ugly. But is it functional? That's the question. But anyway, I went on down, as you can see, I took the time out and I did almost all of them that way. Here's one that I, I left, I, I let stand because it was a pretty good solder. And, you know, why did I do all this? Well, because, you know, hey, I'm not a great solderer, but I, I you know, I can get the job done. But anyway, it looks ugly. Yes, it does. But is it functional? I've already tested this thing and it, it works. And um, I'm going to show you what kind of wattage I get. Also, you know, I actually put aluminum tape also at the where the bus bars are, so I can tape them. To, so I taped it to the glass, so it, it made it easier to move, and you know, uh, all my cells stayed in place as I was doing the encapsulant. I taped it across the bus bars at the top and the bottom. Now I also purchased some um, MC4 connectors too. So, all right, YouTube, but this, this is just to kind of show you, give folks some type of idea, you know, aggravation can equal innovation. So it was very aggravating for these things, you, you know, to keep popping up because of the, the solder joint wasn't, uh, wasn't good enough. So this right here was a quick fix and it works. I think it works great, but anyway, let's, let's test it out and see what kind of, what kind of uh, readings we get. Okay, YouTube, and I don't know if you can see that, but right now I'm getting uh, under full sun at uh, 20, 26.1 volts. Okay, let's take a look at the amps. Okay, I don't know if you can see that, but I'm getting about 6.9, maybe rounded up to like maybe seven, around seven amps. So 26 volts um, times 6.9 or seven amps. And that kind of gives you what, what the power rating is of this particular panel. 